Hello and welcome. Welcome to the third video of heap sort that is heap sort program in C. So prior to this we have discussed what is how to find min heap and max heap and in the next video we have discussed how to you know what is the algorithm of heap sort. So if you are come directly coming to this video I request you to kindly watch this video. This is very important video fine. I request you to kindly watch the both the videos I must say that uh, because in this video I'm not going to waste my time anyways because I have L explained you all the concept in the algorithm all the logic in the algorithm simply i'll make a logic uh, simply i'll put a syntax of c language and and put that al algorithm so i'm not going to waste my time so i request you if you are expecting that i'm going to explain you anything over here i'm not going to explain i i will only only you know make a link of that previous video here fine okay let's start so here you have here you have what uh, an array having uh, what nine elements suppose that 6 14 uh, 3 then 26 then you have 8 then you have 18 then you have 21 then you have 9 then you have 5 let me make a tree of it that is uh, which tree that is almost complete binary tree, or you can say complete binary tree, 14 then you have 3 then you have 26 I've already explained you everything fine okay 8 then you have 18 then you have 21 then you have 9 and then you have 5 so what you do you first go to the main function oh, okay first you go to main function yes you get, get go to the main function what do you do you simply call you created an array and variable r you ask user to enter the array so user what you user did from started from 1 till 9 it entered all the value which is this these are the nine values entered by users now you first you did you what you, first what you did you know in order to what do you know in order to in order to heap sort first of all you need a max heap first of all you need a max heap that is you called a build max heap which we have considered as build max heap here we are named a function as max heap so you simply called max heap because you know that heap sort can only sort element when it has max heap or min heap so before passing an simple raw array you have to make it into a max heap so what max heap will do let let me go to the max heap so i call max heap i given the complete array this array i give beginning beginning is what is one and what is end nine so again what it will do it will start from end by two that is what i already told you from four to what one fine again it will call array four and 9 that is i already explained you that in order to create a max heap it is start from what length by 2 one, this is first index you can compare from uh, array second third fourth index fifth index sixth seventh eighth and nine so what do you do actually you start from here again uh, what do you do what is uh, and i i already told you everything no so this is uh, on calling so i'm uh, see what i'm doing is now current value of i is what current value i is 4 4 is greater than 1 yes so i'm calling this max cp5 a i is what 4 and is what 9 so this a will have array what is f 4 what is size what is size you have size you have 9 fine because you have called time now what max is equal to f so what is f f is this is this 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 is f and now this is max i, I consider this is as a max value because i don't know anything i'll calculate L. What is L? What is F? F into 2. I already told you. What is left child? That is, I told you if any index is i, then left child is 2i, and right child is 2i plus 1. This is what I am knowing. So L become F into 2. That is 4 into 2. This is L. Right will become F into 2 plus 1. This will become right. Fine. Again, I'll compare. I'll to find maximum. Which is maximum? Since this is only maximum, so I'll come here. Is F not equal to maximum? Yes. F, F, F and maximum both are equal because F is at index 4 max is at index 4 since both are equal i'll not move inside so this is the required trick so what will happen i'll again go back and make i value to 3 because i have to start from 4 to 3 so again i'll call what a uh, max cp5 function with array a value 3 and end and is 9 and is not changing fine so end is 9 okay so what i'll do i'll again call this function so what f will become uh, so f is what 4 so f came here max is f so max came here l is equal to f into 2 l came here 
R is something like this. R will came here. Again, I'll see L is less than size. Yes, L is 6. 6 is less than size. Is AL greater than A max? Is AL? Yes, it's greater than A max. So what max will become L? So this will become max now. This will not be a max because among these two, with this is element. I'll again compare R with size. R is less than size. Yes, R is 7. AR is greater than A max. Yes, is this greater than this? Yes. So max will become R. So this will become max which I've already explained. So is F and max not equal? Yes, F and max not equal because F is at index three, max is at index seven, they are not equal. Exchange it, this is what's swapping. So on exchanging, what will happen? 20 volt will come here, fine. And this, what three was there, three will come here, fine. Okay, now what will happen? I'll again heapify, I'll again call this function in order to heapify. So this is what I do, I've already explained you. So by doing this, 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 by doing this, so this entire thing will be converted to maxi. No, this entire thing will be converted to maxi. So on after that, where I'll go, I'll go here and I'll say to heap sort, I have converted the entire array, which was raw array to maxi. Now I'm calling you heap sort. So heap sort will again jump to its definition, which is here. It will pass the array A and size is what nine. And it will start from what nine to what? i minus minus what is i minus minus it uh, what is uh, 2 2 what is 2 the second last position it will exchange first element with the last element which we have already explained you and it will call max heap for first element which i have already explained you in the algorithm so i'm not going to waste the time again i'm saying i'm not going to waste the time i've already explained you everything in the algorithm so kindly watch the algorithm video so that it will become very easy for you to correlate